Good evening and welcome to Northern Maine Productions. Another uh, hopefully informative video on Christmas lighting, specifically flashing Christmas lights. This is something that I've always uh, enjoyed somewhat. Um, I enjoy flashing lights. Um, in small doses. I don't like, you know, like having a whole entire Christmas tree blinking. I like just, uh, I'm the type of person who likes to have flasher bulbs sprinkled throughout the tree or throughout the string of light. So I'm going to do a demonstration here on the different ways that they made Christmas lights flash. Um, we're going to start off, I got a mid-70s General Electric, this is a Jingle Bell light set, it's probably from 1975 or so. This is a series set of lights, meaning that you only have one individual wire. This, um, this set, when you spread this all out, is in a complete loop. This is older construction obviously newer newer miniature lights are in a straight line but there is actually it's actually still in a loop technically so what that means is that if we unfold this set to the very first bulb you will see that this power wire from this cord goes directly into this bulb and then the wire the next wire from the bulb yeah, other side of the bulb goes to the next bulb and so on and so on until it eventually comes back around and this is wherever the other end of the and that's the other end of that string that wire comes out of this green bow and goes clear back to the plug-in so how do they make this set of lights flash that's a very good question. A lot of people don't understand this and I'm going to try to help you understand this. Um, a flasher bulb works just it works basically the same way as a as a regular light bulb. The difference being is it has an element in there called a called a uh, bimetallic strip. It's very small in these miniature lights. You can hardly see it with a naked eye. But what the effect is that the heat from the light bulb acts on that bimetallic strip and when that bimetallic strip flexes because it's gotten hotter it breaks the circuit. Well when that happens after a few seconds it cools down enough and it flexes back and makes contact and the lights light again. I'll show you how this I'll show you how to identify a flasher in this. Now this miniature light set the flasher bulb is identified right there because it actually has a red tip on it. It's a clear bulb with a red tip and you can if you look closely you can see that there is a by metallic strip inside that bulb. It's a little metal strip that runs up alongside of the the uh, the bulb filament. Now when these stay on this will take you know maybe a couple of minutes and these bulbs will, and these lights will begin to flash on and off and that is because in a series string each bulb is a part of the circuit and there we go each bulb is part of the circuit and if you just take one bulb out of that circuit the whole entire string of lights goes off. And this, I believe this flasher takes a little bit of time to get going. Yes, they're working pretty good now. So yes, if I took this bulb out with a red tip on it and put a standard light bulb in there that was all red this set would stay on all the time. It would never blink on and off. 
Um, and that's how they achieve that. It has been, that's the way that they've done this for, you know, probably close to probably 50 years. You know, miniature lights have been pretty commonplace since the early 70s. Um, okay, so I'm going to shut this set of lights off and I'll show you some other different things. This is just a standard set of C7 light bulbs. And I believe that I demonstrated this flasher module thing in a different video from a few years ago, but I'll do it again here tonight. These are not flasher bulbs. These are just standard old incandescent GE light bulbs. These date from the 50s probably. Uh, yes, some of these are quite old actually. I just saw one here. Yeah, that blue one right there is a GE ceramic block logo. So that would date that to 1954, 1955. At that point in time, the C7 and C9 blinker bulbs had now even been invented. So, anyways, yes, these will, these will just stay on and burn until they burn out or you turn them off. But uh we're gonna enter in this little thing this is something that electric manufacturers invented a long time ago i don't know how long this one's probably from the 70s this is a gem it's probably gilbert electric manufacturing i would say is probably who made this so what this thing is this is a flasher module and this actually has a resistive coil in this that heats up and there is also a bimetallic strip in this just like in the little small light bulb that I talked about what happens with this when you plug this in initially these lights do not light this thing that little resistive heater in there will start to warm up and once it warms up it does the opposite thing that the that the flasher light bulb did in that in that set of bell lights and that is when this thing heats up it makes the co or when it cools up hang on when it heats up it makes contact and turns the lights on well, when these lights turn on it breaks the circuit for the resistive heater and the bimetallic strip cools off again and it breaks the circuit and that's how this works after this thing's been in operation for a few minutes, this thing gets quite warm. Uh, in fact, I don't even like to use it that much. That's, that's just my take on it. You know, I'm a little bit fanatical when it comes to fire. Okay, so you see these lights do not come on. So right now, that resistive heater is heating the bimetallic strip and the lights just come on. And, that, and you can see that that will effectively make these standard C7 bulbs blink on and off. And I'm going to stop that. So yeah. And I have seen these. I have seen years ago when I was a really small kid. I seen one of my aunts had one of the had several of these things on a Christmas tree, making several sets of these incandescent C7 lights flash. Let me tell you what that was kind of that was kind of crazy watching that. That was the first time I ever saw one of those. So this string of lights is yet another C7. This set of lights has actual flasher bulbs in it. These lights, you know, essentially this cord that these lights are on is an extension cord. The power flows in one end of it and it'll flow out the other end. And it has all these individual sockets. Uh, they have like a little vampire pegs that 
protrude into each individual wire providing 120 volts power to each bulb so these bulbs all burn independently you can take bulbs right out of the string and if there's one in there that it'll, that it works it will still continue to light so I don't know if that little bimetallic strip is visible in there or not possibly um, but I'll turn these on and give you a demonstration and they are lit up it takes a little bit of time for these to heat up and these bulbs are quite bright compared to a standard transparent bulb. These are actually 7 watt light bulbs. Uh, most transparent bulbs made today are, you know, 5 watt. But that yellow bulb right there is actually a fairly old bulb. Some of these are older than others. This bulb here and this green one and this blue one are all brand new. But these other ones, the more traditional shaped bulbs, are quite old. I don't see any that say General Electric on them. So, presumably these are all just imported bulbs. Probably from the 70s or 80s. And then, I actually just bought this, these type of bulbs here just a while ago and these take these take some time some warm up quicker than others but they do all eventually blink it's funny when you're waiting on these things they always seem to take longer to do anything but Another thing about these, you will, I don't know if you guys heard that on the camera or not, sometimes you will hear a, a distinct uh, tink, a little like a, it's like a little tink, and just, uh, you'll hear the, you can actually hear the bimetallic strip when the contact breaks. But, yeah, some of these newer bulbs take a little longer I don't know why but. so we got two left these newer bulbs like this are probably not the best quality these take a while to flash and if they're outdoors in the cold they don't like to start flashing all that well. I don't know what the deal is with these. Well, sometimes you just gotta give these a little bit of a thump and they'll they'll start blinking eventually. But so okay. So what happens if I take one of these bulbs out? Does it affect any of the other ones? No, it does not. I'm going to demonstrate that right now. Uh, I can put just a regular old bulb in there and it does not affect the other ones at all. That's, that's the beauty of... These are called... These are parallel strings. These strings are parallel wired and that's the beauty of these if one bulb burns out the rest of them all still work yeah I have not had too many blinker bulbs here in my possession so I didn't actually do a video on these you know that old blue that blue one right there that's a brand new bulb and that is quite lazy it does not does not want to blink for whatever reason things are stubborn sometimes that's funny because these were just they were all blinking just about 20 minutes ago they were hanging around the door case in here but that blue one is slow to go but it eventually will start working I do know that for a fact but anyways I guess 
I don't need to drag this on any further. Um, you guys have seen what I need to see. These blinker bulbs like this are still available in 2023. I just bought these. I bought two boxes of these winter green lighting from, I think these came from Christmas lights, etc. I think. They're uh, C7 twinkle lights, multi multicolored. These bulbs are 7 watt bulbs according to this. Of course they're made in China, so you know how that works. But I was glad to get some of these actually this year. These, overall I'm pretty happy with those Chinese light bulbs. They're not too bad. Uh, I've got a whole bunch of them up. The majority of them are outdoors on some outdoor strings. There's 14 of them on my Christmas tree in there. Then they're all working pretty well. Um, but anyways, uh, I guess that's enough. Uh, I'm going to shut the video off now. I hope you guys enjoyed this hopefully informative video into flasher bulbs. And also, I should should have mentioned uh, the bigger C9 outdoor light bulbs typically work the same way. They work exactly the same way. And I'm going to add this too. Typically, the flasher bulbs are transparent colored like this. Occasionally, I guess they did make opaque colored flasher bulbs like this. I think they were imported from Japan uh, back in the 60s and 70s. Uh, I've never actually seen a bulb like that. I've never actually had an opaque flasher bulb here, but I have had many of these over the years. And I was glad to add some new ones to my collection this year because my flasher bulb collection was pretty near exhausted. But anyways, um, I'm sorry if uh, some of you on my chat who liked my YouTube videos or watch my YouTube channel, I'm sorry if you're not into Christmas lighting, but Christmas lighting is one of my things. I've always liked it since I was a little kid, and this channel is typically, has typically and historically been centered around uh, train photography and rail fee and stuff, but I'm kind of, at the moment, I'm I'm in a position where I'm transitioning away from that. So, anyways, uh, I'm going to let you guys go. I hope you all have a good evening. Bye-bye.